welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's very exciting video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my balloon garlands. Whenever it comes to parties for friends, I always get asked if I can help with the decorations because I absolutely love creating decorations. I've done many balloon arches, balloon garlands. I've done table decorations, charcuterie tables. Is that how you say it? I've made baby blocks for baby showers. When it comes to balloon garlands, they are so amazing to look at and such a great party decoration that I thought why not make a video on it and how I make my balloon garlands and share it with you guys so you can make them too. So the first thing I do is look at the theme for the party, what colours are going to be used and then I try and look on Instagram or just on Google, Pinterest for some balloon garland inspiration. I then also look at the formation, whether the balloon garlands are going from like a big to small or how many mini balloons they've got filled in the gaps just the full structure and what sort of silhouette I want to make. So the inspo for today's balloon garland is going to look something like this. This colour scheme is not what we're going for. We're going for a more of like a white, really soft champagne, rose gold. In this picture, I was mainly looking at the little mini cluster balloons. And I like the way how the mini clusters are a completely different colour to the main garland behind it. So I wanted to try and recreate something like that. So the next thing I think about is how many balloons I need. Then I will break that down into how many colours. So I kind of aim for at least 60 balloons in a balloon garland. Obviously with the more balloons you have, the longer and thicker the balloon garland will be. But I like to give myself about 60 balloons for each garland. And when I say this, I'm talking about your standard balloon garland that's going kind of like up and over. If you're doing balloons for going behind wording, like you know that light up wording, I don't want to tell you how many balloons I blew up for one of those that I did. <laughs> so once I have my rough estimate where I know I'm going to place it, I then look at the colours. One tip that I do try and stick by when making a balloon garland is that the less colours you have, I think the nicer that the balloon garland will turn out. Again, there are different ways that you can place your colours when creating your balloon garland. You can do it absolutely randomly so you have like a mixture of colors all over or you can do it by block color so you can have like one color at the bottom and going into another and then another and this can also be a gradient so you can start from your lighter color going into your darker color or vice versa also another tip different size balloons this will elevate your balloon garland. I normally go for a few like really big balloons, even like the foil type balloons for helium. You can use those for air. And I normally place a few of those at the bottom. And then I would have like your classic, I think it's like 12 centimeter balloons, I think is the normal size. I'll have the majority of my balloons be those and then obviously loads of small ones. The small ones not only look good but they also are great fillers. If you have any like weird gaps or anything in your balloon garland you can literally just fill it up with little balloons. Again you'll see when I get to making the balloon garland I think the little balloons look better when they are in a cluster as well and I normally just tie these up literally with a bit of fishing wire. I just tie the fishing wire around the little, what do we call it, little nobbin on the balloon, like the blowy bit, just tie some fishing wire around that part and then literally just as close as you can get another balloon and that little nobbin and just like wrap it round. I normally do my little balloon clusters in groups of three or four. Also other things to take in consideration, how you stick the balloon garland up. I do normally try and put it round doors or round a curtain rail. If your curtain rail is strong enough, let, I'm, just, I'm just gonna say it, don't try and stick your balloon garland up with sellotape on the wall. It's not going to work. It's going to fall down. Everybody tries to do it and it just doesn't work. So anyway, that's enough talking, word vomiting about balloon garlands. I'm going to drive to Bristol now and I'll see you guys there. Right, we've finally made it to Bristol. Behind me here is where I'm thinking about doing the balloon garland for. Nice curtain rail for holding the balloon garland up. We're just offloading our bits and we'll start blowing up balloons. And then once we have enough blown up, we can start putting it together and that's the exciting part. So we have these really beautiful pink, like rose goldy foil balloons. And these will probably go at the bottom and another one at the top. Then these, let's just pretend they're the same color. They more or less look like the same color when they are blown up. But these are like the rose goldy type of balloons. These are just in the 12 centimeters to like standard size. Then these ones are the really cute ones. They're clear with some little pink 
foils in them. Again, they are standard size. Then we've got more standard size 12 centimeters, like a champagne colored balloons. And then for the white, we have the standard size ones. And then we have two really large ones, which will probably go next to those ones at the bottom and at the top corner of the balloon arch. And then we have medium size and smaller size. Also tool wise, um, obviously I've got my big bag of tools here, scissors and all the little good bits. And then we've got these little balloon stickers, which are literally just like clear, like round glue dots. That's what we'll use to stick like the small balloons onto the garland with. And then we have these. Now, I probably will only be using one of these. These things are amazing. You literally just thread the balloons onto this and it creates a garland for you. So if you faffing around with the fishing, whoa, with the fishing wire. So these are a lifesaver. That is what we've got. So I reckon let's just start blowing up and then we can put it together. These would be like the round, like circle ones, and they're obviously not. So I don't know whether I'm actually gonna put these in the garland or not yet, because this shape isn't very great for balloon garlands. This is the tape. I've just unraveled raveled it. I'm gonna start off with one of the big white ones, and then you just thread that into the hole. If it will go, and like that, it literally is on there, and then you just start building it up from there. So with this one, I'm gonna carry on doing a few more white. I kind of want it to be a little bit blocky. As you can see, it's building up quite nicely. When this is sitting on the floor, it'll be more structured because it will have all the balloons above it. Yeah, so we'll stick like little clusters around them to build the bottom up a lot more. And you can even stick more like of the larger balloons at the bottom as well, just to build it up to. Also, these are the little balloon clusters I made the other night. And you probably want to see on camera, but there is like the little bit of fishing wire. And I literally just like weaved it in and out of the balloons and they just stay together like that. And then you'll see a bit later on, that they look so effective mixed in the balloon garland. So now I've got some white on there. I'm gonna go with a different color. I might go in with one of the rose goldy colors now. the darker rose gold and then the lighter rose gold. I think I'm gonna go in these little balloons now. And you wanna make sure that the little sequins inside are all around the balloon. And the way to do this is to make it static. So you wanna rub it against something to make sure they stick all around the outside. garland I kind of want to build it up a bit more around here and then we want to stick the little clusters on to give it a better silhouette so when you stick the balloons onto the balloon garland you want to make sure the little like knob any bit is stuck in towards the balloon garland because there's nothing more ugly than having this on show Duh! 
I think for the most part, the balloon garden is now finished. I might want to put some more smaller balloons in this little gap here. It is a bit annoying, you can see the curtain there. I think it's looking so good. Sunday. The balloons have been up all weekend. Some of them have lasted, some of them have not sadly. So yeah, I've woken up and it's currently 10 past 7 in the morning and it's still dark outside. I'm really sorry that this outro is so dark. I did try, I tried. But I'm really happy how this garland turned out and unfortunately we do actually have to pop all of this this morning we need to be out of the house at 10 so you spend all that time putting it all together to take it down you can't think about it you can't think about it one tip and trick that i would say no one likes a balloon popping no one if you snip the balloon right close to the little um like nobbin nobbin nubbin nipple whatever you want to call it if you snip it right there it'll deflate slowly and quietly so loud popping does not have to be involved so guys that is it for today's little video tutorial i really enjoyed making this video for you let me know down below if you've ever tried making a balloon garland also remember to subscribe to my youtube channel i would really love for you to stick around it'll mean the world to me but as i say in all my videos most importantly be kind to yourself and make healthy choices and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.